This is a fan generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazoff.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And make sure to order Jamie Glazov's new critically acclaimed jihadist psychopath. How he is charming, seducing, and devouring us. All your support is greatly appreciated. Hello, and welcome to Any Cyrus Moment brought to you by the Glazov Gang. Let's talk about Corey Mohammed. Just in case if you don't know of him or you haven't heard of him, Corey Mohammed is a guy who decided to go on a killing spree back in April of 2017 in Fresno, California. If you look him up, most of the report says a black man got tired of racism, so he went and killed white men. His own confession said that I just found some white men to kill. But here's few things missing from most of the reports. Number one, Corey Mohammed is a Muslim, a follower of Nation of Islam. On his trial, he actually held up a, a Nation of Islam newsletter and posed for the cameras. They forgot to mention that the supposedly black man who got tired of racism, which by the way, if you read, there is not a shred of evidence that he faced any racism in any shape or form. But we all know how white privilege goes in this country. Just because the victims were white, no one cares, right? But here's my question. Are we ever going to actually open the discussion and conversation about Muslim privilege in our country? Are we ever going to actually say that when Muslims do good, like being elected as Congresswoman or being elected in any office, we don't drop the name Muslim from their name. But when they go in their jihad, which is obligation for them, we make sure to eliminate the word Muslim from their name. That's the first thing we do. I think that is the definition of Muslim privilege, the cover up that we do for them. Um, 2020, the, uh, the concentration and focus of Homeland Security is on white supremacy they have care members coming in and giving them advice on white supremacy issues that our country is facing. I'm pretty sure we shouldn't hold our breath thinking they might bring some ex-Muslims to help them concentrate on Islamic supremacy issue we're facing in this country. We gotta wake up. We gotta demand investigation into actual problems we're facing that Muslims are killing non-Muslims, white or not, in name of jihad, and we are covering it up for them. We need to stop mentioning the Muslim community when it's good for them, and we gotta just let it be Muslim community. And they also need to pick a side. If they wanna be the minority, then they can cherry pick. If they want to be a separated group from rest of the America because they're not here to assimilate, as Linda Sarsour said, then they're going to have to be Muslims altogether as one group, including the killers, the terrorists, and the jihadis. All the way from September 11 to San Bernardino shooting to marathon, Boston Marathon bombing to the Sir of Corey Mohammed killing white men because he just felt like it. And we also need to ask Homeland Security to do the proper focus, which is Islamic supremacy in America. We do not have white supremacy issue. There is no such a thing as white privilege. And as a brown woman, I think I can say that. But on the other hand, 
every American is suffering from the growth of Islamic supremacy in America and we are all being treated as second-class citizens because Muslim privilege is growing every day. With that being said, stay informed, stay vigilant, and stay safe, and keep on getting educated. Best way to do that is to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. And also remember, we are a fan-generated show, which means we need your help. So go to jamieglazov.com and make a donation of any amount you can so we can continue doing what we do, which is educating you on the issues of unholy alliance between the left and Islam. Thank you.